all right so what is going on today youtube we are doing a post commentary vid on some ashira new uh vendres and i don't know what i'm going against so i'm just going to be calling it link spam because that's the best way i can that's the best way i know how to title what this video what's going to be happening throughout this video this deck is fucking crazy and uh i did not know like um that uh, the new the new career book card pretty much uh made this deck possible so um before we start or before we get into the more meaty plays i guess of the deck um, i would like to say if you guys do enjoy the video leave a like and leave a comment or also subscribe if you have not already and if you guys can click one of them ads to help support the channel so as you can see i sent uh spirit master because i don't really have too much of you know too much of a play going on so when gozuki dies i can banish it that's some one of them goblin zombies so as you can see this man is starting off with goblin uh what's the name with um grinder golem and that's just giving him tokens and for some reason Grinder golem isn't once per turn any of that so i did not know about this combo uh especially i really did i didn't see any of this even coming about but grinder golem actually is a good card and if you guys go look actually the price of grinder golem even for a, co a common is um what's the name it's like around five bucks for the common and around five bucks for the super so as you can see he gets a free rank i mean a uh, link four just off of just you know one grinder golem and this if this is going to be possible this is going to be crazy so he goes into what is his card um i, I don't know i don't know the name loud dragon lord dragon is that what it says um but yeah it's a link four it cannot be targeted it reduces some shit by 500 and it takes monsters and like that's just it's a stupidly good card so as you can see right now i'm going to use this and it was like I, I did not know about this card so i'm sitting here thinking all right well why can't i i couldn't target it so i'm like finally read it right there and i'm like damn you know i can't target how the hell am i going to get over it but since we do play zombies you know we can get over a lot of shit because uh yeah we we just we we have that type of uh we just have that type of power that type of synergy and stuff like that because we can go shogun saga we can uh we can go black rose once again that can get around it and as you can see um that's pretty much my plan right here he just has two back rows so i summon the unit zombie and i'm thinking he probably's gonna trick i mean he's probably gonna strike so i'm just gonna go straight for the black rose because i do have a book of life um, the only thing I was really scared about right here is like a, a loss win or a break this heal because that shit would really hurt it We wouldn't be able to get nothing off the board, but he does have a strike. So um, uh, I was like fuck I can't get rid of the whole board So now I'm thinking what should I do go ahead and just grab the Mizuki because uh, just gonna pretty much shut up for next play uh, not Next not next turn, but I was thinking I was gonna go some type of Gozuki play uh, with uh just trying to banish something to get the mizuki out of my hand but that's it, it, i obviously uh not obviously but i end up going up against that play uh end up right now sending dust the mizuki to the graveyard and here i'm thinking what i'm contemplating what i should do um i don't know if i should send like another uh, mizuki from the deck to the graveyard i don't know if i should discard from my hand um i don't know I, I'm, I'm trying to right here think of what to do as you can see i did i do have a link four and a link three um, I, I have never went into the link for uh, deco target like I said is just um, it's there pretty much we need to find better ways to go into something I think like I said uh, uh, not like I said but zombie master is going to be very important coming up uh, in the link format because you can you can put a lot of monsters on the board and uh, since uh, you're since at the graveyard goblin zombie does trigger uh, so that would be very good so as you can see right here I'm contemplating about going deco talker but i end up going shogun saga so just so i can attack over the card because i do have a ghost ash so i can stop some shit and i do have a strike so that would be uh what's the name that would also be pretty good to stop what he got going on and then the loud dragon can only reduce it by 500 so i'm not really tripping so here i grab why did i grab spectral sword Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I grab spectral. I'm looking at this right now. Like, why, why the hell would you grab that? Um, what, like, what, what the fuck was that? But you know, when Gozuki dies, I'm going to summon Spectral Sword, and then it wides in the grave. Like, I, you know, and hopefully they kill it. You know, it's just pretty much a line of protection. So he goes scapegoat, and I'm like, holy fuck, he's finna go off on me again. He's gonna do the combo, and man, is Link uh, the Link Karibo card pretty busted? 
Uh, not also, also not only is it a Link One. Uh, I mean, the, the, all you need is a level one. It it contributed itself to reduce some shit to a zero a zero attack. So he could, you know, he can get over my Shogun Saga. He can get over Gozuki. I mean, Gozuki's in defense, but you guys can catch my drift. That card is actually pretty good. So he's going into these cards. I'm not scared of that because it doesn't obviously point anywhere. He summons the uh, Glass Bell, and for some reason, he just you don't even have a target. He just summons it. So. Here I'm thinking, all right, what can you do? He ends up going into a um, another loud dragon. I said, nah, we're not about to deal with that again. Hit him with a solemn strike, and I'm pretty sure that ends his play, uh, ends his turn actually. Uh, yeah, he does end his turn, and as you can guys can probably already tell, um, you you can't leave just a token against this zombie onslaught, especially the new deck that we got going on. So I send the uh, <clears throat> I send spectral sword. Because for some reason, here I'm thinking I can go into another synchro. <laughs> but I end up just going, uh, what's the name, to the Sun Saga because it's going to pop and that's going to be actually game. Because 30, actually, I'm thinking this is game right here. So this is the only reason I did this play is because I thought this was game. And you guys can clearly tell that this was not game. I think I'm short, what is it? That's uh, only 52. I'm short of uh, 500. So I'm sitting here thinking, fuck, I'm about to, he's about to come back. He's about to do an onslaught of plays. Um, but I do have a solemn warning, so I'm not really too worried. Um, so <clears throat> I'm like, all right, let me go ahead and set this warning and stuff like that. We're good. We're going to be pretty much be able to win. And, uh, he, once again, he starts, uh, I think, I believe he starts trying to go off. I think he summons a grinder golem again. No, he summons this, uh, alter guest, uh, alter, geist monster. And I'm looking at him like, I don't know what I should do. I said, fuck it. I'm a warning. Cause I do not know. What the hell is going on? I do not want to even give him the chance. So that ends up winning me the duel. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Watch out for game two. It's coming up.